morning guys it is really early I had been up since 6 o'clock this morning because I got the text alert that the mare was giving birth and so I just spent the past three hours of my morning um, watching the foal uh, be born and get up and nurse and move around and it was just a really really good way to start the day um, I did my treatment I started some laundry I had some coffee because I was tired because I only had four hours of sleep and I'm forcing myself to stay up. I was debating on, well, should I go back to bed? Because I only got four hours of sleep and I got up at six. But I was like, no, I'm going to keep myself awake. Because I've been trying to reset my sleep schedule anyway. So I'm just going to make myself stay awake all day. Um, and go to bed at a more normal time than three in the morning. So, um, so that was just, I don't know. It was just a really, really awesome way to start the day. Just watching new life be born and um yeah it was just it was just a really magical way to start the day so and it's a little filly so i am happy and um it'll be nice to sleep tonight without having to keep my computer on and like checking every hour or so and being like you know try not to miss it and just really thankful that the text alert woke me up so um so yeah, now because I got up early and already did my treatment and all that, I can take advantage of the weather outside before it gets cool, before it gets cool, before it gets hot, and um, take Panda on a run. So that's what I'm going to go do. I hope you guys have a great day as well, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hopefully I think it's dead. I'm not going to get any closer. I'm not letting him get any closer either. The holy crap, that just scared the heck out of me. As I said, I wasn't getting any closer. Yeah, I think it's dead. Jeez. It's a big snake. Now that I've <clears throat> had a chance to cool down a little bit, it's time for a post-run breakfast. And breakfast to me also means this. So, I'm going to take my meds, eat some breakfast, and I'm feeling really ahead of the game today because I've already done my treatment. I'm about to take all my meds. I've done a load of laundry i've taken panda out for a run and it's not even 11 o'clock yet so feeling really good to be ahead of the game and uh just gonna enjoy this breakfast but my run today was a lot easier than last time and I, part of that was because it was cooler outside um but yeah it was just a lot easier so i'm thankful for that <clears throat> and that snake was all kinds of creepy. I think it was a king snake. We get those around here. It's either a king snake or a garter snake. But, um, yeah, it was creepy. But Panda was trying to, like, eat it. I was like, stop. <laughs> um, but. <coughs> <coughs> anyway. <coughs> I'm going to eat this. And, um, then I'll probably sit down and read Harry Potter or something. I don't know. But sometimes it's just really nice to feel ahead of the game. Hey guys, so it has been several hours since I vlogged last. I spent most of my afternoon reading Harry Potter and kind of watching the full on and off. And um, <clears throat> now I'm heading to the barn. I, uh, I'm going an hour early. It's not too hot today. And the funny part of that is not too hot is 91 feels like 102 with a breeze. And it feels like amazing out here to me. Like... You know it's been hot when uh, 102 heat index is like, hey, it's not hot today. Um, but going to take full advantage of it. Plus, I was starting to get really tired, and I'm trying to keep myself awake so I can reset my sleep schedule. So I thought going down here, obviously I'm not going to fall asleep. And by the time I get back, if I'm really that tired, I can, you know, do my treatment and go to bed. So coming down here, um, and... Uh, I looked at that, I looked up the snake. I don't remember if I told you guys this in the clip this morning or not, but I'm pretty sure it's a king snake. We have a lot of those around here. Um, they're not venomous or anything. The only thing that really freaked me out about it was because I almost stepped on it. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it was a king snake. But, anyway, I'm going to head down here, probably do some training with them since I'm an hour early. And, uh, and I don't know, we'll see what we get up to run today. That's not like her. Usually it's, um, she has the treasure run. But anyway, 
Horse one of four. Well, ironically, Chip did the best today. Hi, guys. I know. You wanted to keep butting in, didn't you? You did. You did. You wanted to keep butting in, didn't you? Yeah. Um, Chip usually is the one that runs away from me, but she didn't. She did the best. Pisselani ran away from me. Blondie did good, too. She wasn't bad. Um, Missy over here tried to uh, take off, but I stopped her. So, all in all, they all did good, but the ones that usually don't cross problems did. So it's kind of weird. Chip was just perfect, and she's usually the one I always have trouble with. So, walk over to her. You were good today, weren't you? You were good today, weren't you? You got an itchy head? Yeah. You were a good girl today. Yeah. So, all's well that ends well. And so that's to be said, so I'll probably be going to sit with Blondie. <coughs> so yeah, so I am sitting with Blondie now. I sure hope it doesn't rain, because I'm hearing a lot of thunder from that direction and the clouds are pretty dark so I guess we'll see about that um I'm gonna flip it around kind of enjoying today tomorrow and Thursday as my chill days because I have CF clinic on um Friday and then Saturday I'll be packing and Sunday I'll be also packing and getting ready to go and I leave 2 a.m Monday morning so Tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday are kind of my chill and just not really have to worry about anything kind of days. Um, I'm actually kind of excited for CF Clinic because <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing well and I, I'm excited to see what my PFTs are. Um, so I'm kind of, in a way, looking forward to it, but in a way I'm not because it's always exhausting because it's just, when you're at the hospital for hours at a time, it's just exhausting. <laughs> Um, but just for now, enjoying tonight. The breeze is so nice, and um, so I'm really hoping it doesn't rain. And yeah, just hanging out with Blondie here while she eats. This has been our tradition for two years. This is how I first started being able to touch her and pet her was because of I would sit here while she was eating and pet her because before that she wouldn't even let anybody touch her. So. And since then, I just sit with her every night while she's eating. Thank you for the slobber. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little while. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. I just got back from the barn, and I'm going to take a bath. Excuse Panda's drinking noise. <laughs> I'm going to take a bath, do my treatment, take my night meds, and try to get to bed at a more reasonable time than 3 a.m. Because I succeeded in staying up all day, and now I am pretty tired on four hours of sleep, so hopefully it'll work. Um, so yeah, today was a pretty good day, awesome start to the morning. Um, I'm so happy that I didn't miss the fool being born, and I can actually sleep tonight without worrying about, am I going to sleep through her having the baby? <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.